Keep the thing on this thing, especially you. Keep it on this the whole time, even if it crashes. Okay, helicopter. Oh, man. back on right there. Oh. That pisses me off. Ah, no I well. needed some wind. No, I don't need some wind. I need to get fast enough. I didn't... Well, that, that sucks balls. At least it didn't break. Alright, guys. You're supposed to launch it into the wind. There is none. I didn't throw it hard enough. Listen one. Throw it hard. What happened? Crashed pretty bad. What? Well, wasn't it held on with like screws? Yeah, but the cardboard came off. Can you fix it here? Nope. No. Could you tell what went wrong in the flight? Um, it's slow. Too slow? I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, you see right here? Glue. I gotta glue it back on right there. Ah, oh. that pisses me off. Ah, told you you needed some wind. No, I don't need some wind. I need to get fast enough. I didn't. Well, that that sucks balls. At least it didn't break. All right, guys. All right, so uh, yesterday we took out the plane for a little bit of a test flight. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't, as you just saw, it didn't go quite as planned. Now, uh, got the plane right here. Uh, fortunately, there's not much damage to it. Uh, uh, there's just a little bit of a crack. Uh, there's a bit, a bit of a crack going along here, down to the wing root. That can be fixed easily. There's plenty of extra glue. Uh, I haven't gotten the, the little uh, up in here underneath this where the screw goes into the little uh, cardboard plate there. I haven't glued that back yet. This is just stuck on there now. Uh, I'll get around to that later. Um, overall, the plane is in great condition except for that one crack. Everything's fine. The wing ain't got a, got, having got anything wrong with it. Now, this plane... Now, more about the plane, actually. Uh, the plane is, uh, Gua is a Guanli A-10 EDF jet. It's got, uh, let me see if I can read the box from here. Uh, twin GL-530 ducted fans. It's got a uh, NICAD battery. It's got a simple NICAD battery that comes with a wall tumor for, for, uh, for that. Uh, I don't uh, have any real figures for range or 
actual performance characteristics because our flight was cut a bit short. Now, that crash, uh, I've narrowed it down to a few things. It could be any number of factors, actually, but the most the uh, most obvious one to me is uh, I, had done a little bit, I did a little bit of research on this particular model right here, and it turns out that uh, the 72 megahertz controller, if you point the antenna directly at it, it has a tendency to glitch. Now, when you do that, when it uh, does that close to the ground, uh, it, uh, it loses control. Uh, in the video right here, you can see uh, you can see it start to wobble a bit, and uh, you can almost hear it, hear the servos hose kind of go wonky, and then you can hear the engine completely cut out. But uh, that uh, the performance, the characteristics of that that kind of crash are off, uh, real hard, really easy to mistake for a common tip stall, which we all originally thought it was a tip stall because it looked like it stalled, but it also looked like it was flying great. It actually was flying great, as you could see. I almost had it perfect. It was flying great, brilliantly, nice and stable once it got up to speed. But that controller just crapped out. Didn't it didn't even crap out. It just glitched and just flopped over. Even after it hit the ground, you can hear the uh, servos just go in there. So as soon as the wind uh, goes back down, because it's back up. Yesterday was the first time I've seen the wind low enough to fly it since I built this thing a month ago. So also, the whole thing was a rush job. Uh, I don't know if the battery was, uh, battery was not charged up all the way, so I don't know if that contributed it by yeah, limiting the thrust the uh, EDS could reduce. Because EDS already have low, low end thrust, lift thrust. They've got more high end speed thrust. Which is another thing that went wrong, I bought a jet. This is my first plane and I bought a jet. I mean, come on, where's the logic with that? I should have brought a bought a prop plane. But uh, the battery wasn't fully charged. It was a really rushed job. It was a 45-minute charge out of a two-hour charge that it should have been. Uh, it was not very well prepared for. My cameraman was horrible. My compliments to my other cameraman, Nick, the one who I took the steady video footage. My compliments to him. He is a good cameraman and a credit to cameramen everywhere. But this is overall a very easy fix. Not bad. I'll just watch out for that next time I fly it. And I'll have that guys for you as soon as the weather permits. Um, so until next time, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm probably going to have a write-up somewhere sometime on some forum that I'm probably not registered to yet. I may put it in the non spud gun related discussion on spud files. As I'm probably going to start linking to all my stuff there too. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to our videos. Uh, please rate this. Uh, comment. Uh, okay.